Hello and welcome to the Stem Cell Healing Institute podcast. In case you have any questions regarding this program, please write us at info at stemcellhealinginstitute.com. Thank you and enjoy the podcast. Hello, once again, we are here at the Stem Cell Healing Institute podcast, and we are right now with Dr. Sara Figueredo. She is the research and technical director um, of the Institute, and we'd like to welcome you, Dr. Sara, once again. Thank you very much, Luis. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure being here. Oh, it's great to have you here. Um, we are going to talk today about a very important topic which is what is the autism and also we're gonna we, we already have a few questions ready for you but doctor can you tell us what is autism yes thank you um basically what a, a lot of people consider autism as a as a as a sickness or an or an ailment uh, we at the Stem Cell Healing Institute consider it as a neurodiversity. So just a different way that the brain functions and that the brain is, is situated and the way it functions. Um, we have seen uh, on the spectrum, uh, autism is, is described as autist, um, autism uh, spectrum disorder because there are, um, it's a wide range of, of functionality for for these children and um, some of them are extremely high functioning and almost gifted and prodigies and then there are others that are um, you know they have a, a lot uh, many more challenges uh, challenges challenges with speech with um, connecting with other people even their own parents uh, behavioral issues and things like that. So there's a wide range, and um, and we see it as a neurodiversity. Uh, so just a different way that the brain functions, as opposed to an uh, an ailment. Um, that's basically what what autism is in terms of um, how these children function. Can stem cells be used to treat autistic patients? Absolutely. We have had a lot of success with stem cells um, the, from the patient's own body as well as allogenic. So the difference is autologous, which is the patient's own stem cells, and allogenic, which are stem cells taken from uh, another, uh, from someone else, a donor. Um, and we have seen a lot of success with uh, treating autism to uh, at various degrees on the spectrum. Um, we always tell the patient's parents or the patient's, uh, uh, patient's guardians that the best time to treat is sooner rather than later. Um, the younger the child, the better the results. And um, what happens is with the stem cells, the stem cells go in and sort of regenerate any, if there is any deficiency in any degree, um, they help to go and uh, regenerate any deficiency in the brain that helps perhaps a child to speak, to become, uh, to become more vocal in that, in that way with speech, with behavior, um, with uh, uh, other human interaction. Uh, we, find, we often find that autistic children um, can't communicate well they they don't make friends very well the social connections just aren't there and then and it becomes a very isolated world for them and so with stem cells um we have seen the complete turnaround of of these things especially behavior and human interactions we've uh, we've seen children go from eating only a, a five different foods every day to eating a variety of different foods um uh, eye to eye contact, uh, behavioral improvement, transitional. A lot of a lot of autistic children have issues moving from one activity to another. Um, it's very difficult for them to do that. So uh, we've seen very positive results in that aspect. Uh, a, a, a number of uh, number of improvements uh, we have seen. 
What type of stem cells are used to treat this autism? We use um, endometrial stem cells, which are taken from a donor. They come from uh, a donor's uh, uterus um, or menstrual tissue. And um, we find that those are the best uh, in neural differentiation. Neural is basically the central nervous system uh, stem cells or neurons. And we find that they differentiate very, very effectively, very safely, very effectively. No, no immunogenicity. Um, and uh, and the, the numbers are very, very high. And uh, with that, and also bone marrow. And so those would be the two types of stem cells that we usually use for the uh, for autistic for children with autism. Mm -hmm. What would be the, the best follow up? Um, okay, what we do at the Stem Cell Healing Institute is our comprehensive uh, treatment is is that is just that is very comprehensive. So we start with um, certain key nutrients and certain key supplements that okay. help mm -hmm. uh, clean up the internal environment of, uh, of the child, um, including the gut, um, certain uh, omega-3 omega fatty acids, certain antioxidants, certain B vitamins, probiotics, vitamin D. So a lot of these are key um, in order to create an environment that is uh, more suitable, mm -hmm. not only for the stem cells, but uh, help any sort of deficiencies that may be present in the child and um, so we start there and that starts about a month before uh, the patient comes for treatment at home and then once they come we do a detox uh, intravenous detox which is um, uh, a cocktail of vitamins minerals um, uh, B and trace and trace minerals, B vitamins, uh, certain key antioxidants, which is these are so important um, for a nice liver body detox. And then we do oxygen therapy. We need to do oxygen therapy again to not only prepare the body to receive the stem cells, we start before and continue after the treatment, but also to help the stem cells regenerate and to really, really do their job. Um, and then we also have a stem cell enhancement formula, which contains, um, again, key minerals and herbal extracts that help the stem cells to um, function better and to, again, regenerate and do their job. So, uh, and then this continues, the patients go home with these supplements and this continues at home for almost three months. And uh, we have the patient here for anywhere from seven days to 10 days. And so that's pretty much the treatment in, in a nutshell. Um, the actual stem cell treatment happens a few days after the patient gets here. And um, for autism, we do we deploy the stem cells three ways, okay? And we don't leave any of these out. Okay. Uh, we do an intravenous injection of the stem cells with mannitol, which allows the stem cells to get into the brain. Uh, and then we also do an intranasal aspiration, which is like a nose spray of, uh, of the stem cells. And we also do an intrathecal. Uh, intrathecal is right into the cerebrospinal fluid. And... Um, um, these are all very, very safe. They have been done um, over and over again, very successfully, and uh, and it works. It's uh, it's very, very effective a way of, of treating autism. And wow, ASD. that's so, that's so great. I mean, considering you know, well, autism is diagnosed in such an early age, and well, parents can feel a little comfort after they their kids receive the treatment, right? Yes. Oh, absolutely. We have a lot of uh, very positive testimonials from uh, from parents that are that are extremely happy from uh, from the treatment. I mean, I remember one that stands out in particular is a child that um, I believe he was around five when he was diagnosed, maybe six when he got treated, 
and he said i love you to his mother for the first time wow. after after the treatment and before that very unemotional which is very common in, in autistic children is they can't express their emotions wow anymore. the testimonial gave me goose, goosebumps <laughs> <laughs> yes wow yeah. Very, very heartwarming. Well, thank you, uh, Doctor. This is so great uh, to have all these topics on, on um, podcast format. Please, if you want to hear more about the stem cells treatments, well, this is your channel. This is your podcast. And uh, we like to invite you and have you here like every week. We're going to do a podcast like every single week. And we're going to have Dr. Figueroa here to uh, explain everything about the stem cells. Yes. Thank you so much, Luis. Thank you so much to all of our listeners. And we look forward to any comments, questions, inquiries. Um, you can direct them to the uh, info at stemcellhealinginstitute.com. You can also visit us on Facebook as well as Instagram. Um, and visit us on our web uh, website at www.stemcellhealinginstitute.com. Excellent. Thank you so much, Luis. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.